because the perceptions of Islam and the true values are so different. There's an enormous gap. Um, before I became Muslim, I had the same perceptions as everybody else. However, when I looked beyond the headlines and, uh, you know, and the prejudices, I found um, a, a religion that makes sense, that is beautiful, that contains uh, you know, the same ethical values as Christianity or Judaism. Did you know, for example, that Jesus is a prophet of Islam? Moses, so is Moses and Abraham. There's a whole chapter on Mary in the Quran. Prophet Muhammad was a woman's rights champion, um, uh, a social reformer, um, you know, an environmentalist. We don't know all of this. Absolutely, you're looking puzzled. We don't know this. This is just not known. I think the true values of Islam are the best hidden secret and it's time we pull the veil on it and uh, come out and show the positive values. When I tell any of these things that I've just mentioned to my producer on television, you know what he says? My God, Islam needs PR. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you have to realize Islam, like any other major religion, is, is not a monolithic block. Yes. There are many different interpretations yes. and many different streams. Now, the violence of a few fringe extremists, which, we are, which um, act against the teachings of the Quran, oh, that is the problem, overshadow the entire media discourse. The vast majority of Muslims uh, condemn these actions, are against them, and live a completely different, beautiful version of Islam, where social equity, so, uh, social justice, you know, all this um, being kind to the weak, the, the care for the, the, the elderly, all that is part of, of our value system. Peter, Peter Whittle, is, is this a vision of Islam that you, you recognize, and, and would you I like to be introduced to it? Listening uh, to you, it's like you're living in fairyland. Uh, I, frankly, I don't see why any religion, I'm a, an atheist, I don't see why any religion should have a PR campaign, which has actually been, I think, directly or indirectly funded by government money, by public money. It's not. It's why, entirely funded by private donations. Right, but it okay. has actually been promoted by tax-funded organizations. Why should, no. this, why should this happen? Some of the points that are made are sort of so absurd that they, they almost are surreal. The idea that, for example, women in Islamic societies are not repressed is quite extraordinary. Now, for example, the talk said about that. this country, That's talk about this country, for example. Nobody has said that. Look, nobody, I said the values of Islam are pro-women and pro-men. No, no, Don't no, judge the, Islam it says, by Muslims. You said Muhammad supported Absolutely, he did. Uh, but I don't say women are not repressed today. Just a second. Just a second. Let the, Peter finish it his point. It doesn't make the point. point. This campaign doesn't make the point about how he married a girl at the age of six and consummated at the age of nine. No, no, it doesn't make that point. But the fact I would make as well, and I, this is a very pers a personal point, is that uh, as a gay man, for example, uh, a big survey done by Policy Exchange a few years ago. The oh, biggest, yeah, to, uh, the big, on, no, the on, biggest, on, come on, the, it was done by Munira Mirza, who is a, a Muslim. She's not and, an atheist. Right, she, is, she was from a Muslim background, and you know it. But she's an atheist. And the fact, the fact is, it found that 71% of young Muslim men, uh, 17 to, uh, 16 to 24, right, thought that homosexuality should be criminal. Now, how are you going to put a PR spin on that? How do you do that? Well, Maybe. Peter, I'm delighted you're here because you're the very reason Islam needs a PR campaign because people like you talk so much drivel no, about no, Islam no, and Muslims. No, That's why, why we need a PR, PR campaign. To get rid of it. Nonsense. Like that. Some Muslims want homosexuality criminalised. Guess what? Some non-Muslims do too. Go to some pubs around here. Uh, listen, Absolutely. look, yes, listen, I don't agree you with don't that judge, But you don't judge a people or a community or a faith on the basis of an extremist minority. That's that is why not the an majority, extremist minority. That, of course it is. That's 70%. Of course it's a minority. 70% of, of 16 to 24 year olds think that being gay should be criminalised. That so, is not a minority. So that means that Islam doesn't have any PR problems according to you? That doesn't mean that the media don't but exaggerate do the fears of Islam? Well. There should be a no, no, I'm asking you. You said we live in a fairyland. No, right? no, what, what I live in a land the where the newspapers can say Hang whatever on, they like about Islam and Muslims, where tabloid newspapers go after people all the time. They go, the Daily Express has either Princess Diana or a woman in a burqa on the front page every other day. There's about 2,000 or 10,000 women out of 2 million who wear burqas, okay? There is an absolutely uh, open campaign of demonization against Muslims among sections of the right-wing press and think tanks like Policy Exchange, sorry to say. You cannot put your head in the sand and expect Muslims to say, oh no, sorry, we're going to ignore this. And actually, let me just make a wider point. Okay, last time I came on the program, I actually came on to make this point, to say the media actually treats Islam badly. What I came today to make the point was actually, we can't blame the media for everything. We can't blame people like Peter for everything. Actually, Muslims are to blame for a lot of the problems in Islam, which is why...
Yes, which is why Islam needs a PR campaign, not Muslims yeah. who bring it into disrepute. Well, and that's a very important point. Well, Christiana made a very good point that was based on that, and I must just say a word for Daily Express. I know that they do cover these stories, they also cover other stories and don't get not into as trouble. Not sorry. Thank and you very much. Actually, the Cardiff University School of Journalism found that's not true. They disproportionately focus okay. on Islam. Uh, Christiana, but you made a since I yeah. had to learn when I converted to Islam. There is, uh, yet again, um, it's a major religion with a lot of different cultural expressions. So some people ex uh, live their Islam in a different way than I as a European live Islam, and that is the beauty of it. It's open and to Muslims interpretation. Okay. Yes, that's the key. But point. you see, exactly, and you see, the point is, um, if for social harmony, for cohesion, for, for in our multicultural society, it is very important. We really, we try to understand each other. We try to understand the other person's value, the other if person's the Catholic viewpoints. Church, if the okay. Catholic Church had, uh, and I, I'm, as I say, an atheist, if the Catholic Church had a PR campaign, uh, you know, uh, the, the fact is, it would be uh, laughed out of court here. It would no. be it yes, it would. The Catholic it Church is considered to be wrong. Why this should, should suddenly be, uh, or if a Christian, you okay, know, basically, Peter, well, if it's I mean, Christian. Anne, uh, Peter, I think, has an exception to any faith having a PR campaign. For what <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, you know, would you share but, that? Oh, I've lost count of the number of media articles that say Muslim protesters this, Muslim protesters that, without making it extremely clear that this is a fringe minority group and that the vast majority of Muslims do not agree with what they're doing. But do the majority of Muslims not need? to get that message out to this is why the campaign is so the hang, on, hang on, hang on. Peter. Well, the problem is, is that uh, I would agree, yes, that you, you do have to make that distinction and, and you do have to get the message out about the majority of moderate Muslims. But in that case, we should see some demonstrations sort of not in our name. But this they does not been. happen. This I've does not happen. I've organised it myself, actually. Okay. They are, are not on a mass scale. So, 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 so,